Welcome back, Rose Fam. It is another vlog. Um, thank you for the love for the laundry room, guys. We really love it. I have to do laundry today. Y'all know what? I don't know if it's. I'm so, I'm so intimidated by the washing machine and dryer. It's just very much techie if if you will <laughs> it's like by now i would have been thrown i don't know i just take so much it takes so much more for me to actually wash clothes um but i'm getting used to it it's not like a you know space robot it's just when you're trying to adjust after using the same thing you know for a few years and you try to adjust to something else and a little bit more advanced it's like mm, okay it's a little hesitation but it works amazing so i have to get some laundry done in today's vlog update you guys so i am happy to report that our lights are not working it definitely was the circuit breaker was bad like he went um right to it did all the little stuff that i did when i said it was mushy and he was like oh yeah so like he it took him all of maybe 20 minutes um to fix when he finally did when he got here and he came inside of course and checked make sure everything worked so i am so happy about that but i took apart the ceiling fan in my queen room. So now I have to rewire that. Um, and that was such a nightmare. I considered getting a different one because I didn't feel like it, but I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to rewire that. Um, and I took off totally the um, one in the uh, loft took that one off and I also took the one off. Ty? Okay. Um, I took the one off in Ty's room. So um, I'm actually going to, because I wanted to put a black one in Ty's room and I just set it right here. I was eating some lunch, you guys. I made some fish, so I was eating a sandwich. And I don't eat the crust, so I make like a big mess. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one in Ty's room because it's a really nice fan. It does have remote control. And I did want him to have a more modern looking one. He had the... I mean, it's modern, but it, like we've had it for a long time. This was the silver one. Nothing wrong with it, but just wanted him to have something different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I need to bring this plate down. Also, yesterday, well, um, I told you we were supposed to do some stuff in Hubby's Man Cave. Um, but we had the slats on the back wall, and of course we wanted to take those down. Um, so Hubby took those down, which left, you know, a little bit of mess on the wall. It really did mess up the wall a lot. So I needed to get that spackled. And yesterday I was trying to put some more texture on it, sand it down and put texture. Of course, I got as much as I could and ran out of that. Um, I also started the process of um, spackling the header or doing the joint compound and mudding the header. So I got some of that done yesterday, but I honestly, I'm not sure what all... I want to do on the entryway part 
and I really don't want to even think about it right now so um until I figure it out it's just gonna be what it is but let me show you so far so um, I did get it spackled um, I had to pull the wallpaper back so I can make sure I connected it to the other wall so I just did like a couple a few coats on this it looks really really good um, I haven't sanded it yet but it does look really good so there's that so I still have some more spackle to get so that I or texture so I can repair the ceiling and the top over there and then some more on hubby's wall but and we had it over here as well and as you can see while hubby was at work I started he he uh wants now to have his baseboards also the same color like we did in the laundry room so I started that but I'm gonna take a break y'all I need a break it's just been back to back to back to back um I had asked hubby at one time did he want to paint the ceilings and now he does want to we were gonna do like a um like a feature on the ceiling but they want way too much for those things right now so which was the reason why I wanted the header so we could do something fun with his ceiling so we're just probably going to end up painting it for now um I know hubby really wants to get that done but I can't right now I gotta I'm so tired y'all it looks really good the header it looks so 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 good I'm so happy with it my thing y'all I really do beat myself up to try to do the best that I can and it takes you know it takes a lot out of me because if I do something I can see all the faults if somebody else does it I may see it but it doesn't bother me like as if I did it so I'm harder on myself so it takes me a while to do things because I'll redo it I'm not a type of person that just puts it on there 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 you go you know it's like I have to you know it has to be a certain way if I'm gonna do it and say you know and feel good about myself but anyway so for now it looks really good I'll stand back so you guys can see that area um, I don't know if you're sure wall that was on it but it looks good and I'm just I'm gonna take a break Give myself a little bit of grace. Um, uh, I know Hubby wants to get it done, but I got to rest a little bit. Um, I know he doesn't mind, uh, but I got to rest a little bit. And then that time, maybe, because um, what? <sighs> yeah, it's been, gosh, the cat. <coughs> I think I've gone from shampoo in the couch straight to the picture light in the family room straight did I just bite um straight to the picture light in the family room then the and then all that that entailed with the walls and cutting the holes and drywalling and all that other stuff then the one upstairs and the law to doing that and I think right after that I jumped into the laundry room or something was in the middle of that I think there was something else this header, <laughs> jump to the header, and then the fireplace, and then the, the laundry room, and then back to this wall, and then now the ceiling fans, and, you know, I rest in between, but it's still a lot, you know, on me to physically that, you know, I've just been biting, biting my lip down and bearing it because I'm just really excited to have things done and I'm gonna be in pain honestly anyways um I just have to stop sit take medicine um let me I have to ask you guys a question I can't be the only one or I don't I really don't believe I'm the only one that has had this experience this so um, is anybody else like experiencing any outages or shortages 
of their medication. And for me, even if it's the same like potency as far as milligrams, the same medication, if it's a different manufacturer that makes that medication, my body will know because I truly have chronic pain. Like I don't take medicine because I have nothing else to do. In fact, I was the last person to even want to take a pill. And like, I, I just, I hate, I hated taking pills. Um, but like, I will know the difference if it's a different manufacturer which sounds crazy but just like anything else you can have three bottles of ketchup lined up and you can taste the difference in some ketchup like Heinz may be a little bit sweeter than Hunt's which may be a little bit you know what I'm saying more tomatoey than something else so I feel like that with my medication and um this month of March is it's a different manufacturer and I felt it right away even before I looked to see who actually because it on your it'll tell you who the manufacturer was even before I looked to see I told my husband I said babe I think it's that same one that doesn't doesn't really I'll get some relief but I'm pushing through more pain none of it takes it all away but we're still working on that but some will give me a little bit more that I can push. These damn light bulbs are going out down here. I'm not. That's the next thing I want to do is change out these light fixtures um, up here. And it might push me to do that sooner because these damn light bulbs are going out. And these light bulbs are no joke. They're like, what, $12 for each light? And that one just went out. This one is. Oh, that's out. That's out. Was that $24 or $22? No, $24. That I could put toward a light fixture? Mm -mm. Anyway, uh, I just said I do nothing else. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you, if you have experienced that. Anyway. Oh, so I used to keep like the white laundry basket in the laundry room, like just on the top shelf. But now that your girl's all fancy, I ordered the collapsible one that just came. Um, hold on. I think these are no big deal. I've, I've, I've seen them all over the place. I think Costco. That's why you can't be playing with Costco because I think I saw it at Costco. I knew it was less than 20 bucks. I think it was like 12 or something like that at Costco. And I didn't get it. Plus, I wasn't in a laundry room frame of mind at that time. But I still always wanted one because I felt like it was convenient. And I didn't get it. And this one was 30 bucks for this little thing so but it opens out and of course I got the black and silver together with the lingerie and uh, you saw that there's room on the side of the machines for me to be able to store it but I don't even have energy to push it out. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is what it looked like. Now I get some energy, I'll pull it out. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my plate cleaned up and then I wanna try to get Tyler's um ceiling fan up i'm gonna just go ahead now i know which breaker controls all of that it makes it a whole lot easier because our house is wired so weird it's like why is the kitchen wait why is there the top plug the pantry the bathroom the led like it's wired so weird where things connect so and our breaker box is not truly show what goes to what so anyway all right y'all i'll be back 
Yeah, who closed this little thing? They said this was a large. I'm gonna use it for now. I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's actually the perfect size for Tyler. Um, and he has the white one, but I'm not gonna put the white one back in here because it's not collapsible. So I'm gonna use it for now until I get ready to order another one. And then I will give this one to Ty. It also matches his room and it's collapsible. He can store it in his closet, but let's get these clothes taken out of here, y'all. It all fit, so I guess I don't need a larger one, but I still want to get this one to tie. See if I can find one a little bit bigger, but this did fit everything with the sheets and stuff like that. Um, I don't do super huge loads, so I guess it's not a big deal, but all right, y'all. Let me take this upstairs. All right. All right, fam. So the best thing about this, other than the dust, is... I've already put it together, so putting it in Ty's room will be a little less time consuming. Um, I've already, all this is already connected, so I just have to connect my black, white, and ground wire. And of course I have my electrical tape and caps, and I showed you guys how I actually feel comfortable doing that to ensure safety for us and make sure that that's why like when the lights went out i'm like i know it's not unless it's a faulty fan because i'm like extra safe and cautious when it comes to things like that so um anyway let me Get this together and I'll see you guys in Ty's room.
guys is finished tested it it works um i'll show you guys all of it but i had to turn it back off so i can go wire mine but this is what his looks like in his space you guys i don't have the instructions to these anymore and i totally forgot love you too i'm fighting trying to get this big ridiculous amount of wire in there because it was connected and this is actually just an extension that i really didn't need that's if you have like a longer pole that you gotta do whatever connect it to so i was able to take that off and get it done so now i'm going to reconnect mine um now all right fam so the best thing was i did not take mine directly off of the wall or completely off of the wall i just disconnected the wires so now it was just a matter of remembering um, which wires go to which i'm pretty familiar with a lot of them but some are wired a little bit differently um, but it wasn't too bad i got it up um, pretty easily fam so i got that one i just showed you in ty's room the one in the queen room put back and in working order and so you say sister rose you fixed yours you put the one in the loft in ty's room whatever will you do with the with the loft ty cave has to stay cool <laughs> And I'm glad you asked. <gasps> What's that? Yes, you did ask. I heard you. And I'm glad you did ask. Because I'm going to tell you right now. A huge thank you to Von Luce for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Von Luce specializes in luxury home furnishing and decorative lighting. Today we're going to be installing Von Luce's 52 inch modern ceiling fan with remote. This fan has a six speed reversible quiet DC motor, which would be an excellent addition to any indoor or outdoor space in your home. This fan features three blades which accommodate a wind speed from low to high, numbers 1 to 6. Alright, so here you see me unboxing all the pieces that come included with the Von Luce ceiling fan. Now with anything else, please do not attempt to install this product if you do not feel safe or have not had any experience with wiring electricity. If you have any questions, please consult a licensed electrician. It is a fully functional remote which controls the speed of the fan. It does have a preset mode that you can set for your fan as well as a option for a timer. From one, two, four, eight hours you can set for the fan for it to automatically turn off as well as choosing the lighting that you would like for your ceiling fan. Included in the box will be step-by-step -step directions for mounting of your ceiling fan as well as the operation for both your remote and ceiling fan.
All right, you guys, it's time for the installation and always remember to turn off your power source. I always go out to the breaker. I don't just turn the switch off that operates the ceiling fan. I go out to the main source of electricity and make sure that that is off. I would have to say this was definitely a pretty easy install. Uh, the light kit had already come with the attachments that you just plug into each other. And so there were only, let's see, your black, white, and grounding wires that needed to be attached and in capped. The rest was already done for you. I also wanted to add that I really did like this lamp. It is super, or ceiling fan, that is super, super lightweight. So you didn't really worry about any heaviness in the ceiling. One thing I wanted to add as well is not all light fixtures are um, weight bearing for a ceiling fan. So before attempting to put your ceiling fan up, especially if you are in a pre-existing -exist home, please make sure it is load bearing enough to support the weight of a fan. We are all done. I love it. It is so quiet. Um, very quiet. And it, if you if you notice, I tried to show you all the different like lighting that it has, like the cool and the warm and bright. Um, let me show you guys again. Let me show you guys again um, <clears throat> the remote. Looks like that. And this is how you turn it off. And this is how you adjust like what kind of light you want. So I'm going to turn it off. Oh, wait. Turn it off. And then I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to click, click. It'll be a different one. Then I'm going to turn it up. Uh, click. <laughs> wait. There you go. <laughs> Look at the gist of it. <laughs> But um, it's all set. Thank you once again to Von Luz for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We absolutely love the fan. It is very lightweight. It is very, very quiet. Um, as you can see, it doesn't wobble or anything. Um, it's very modern. Like I really like, I don't know the kind of material, the metal that it's made of or whatever, but it's very modern and sleek. Um, I absolutely love it. All right, fam, don't forget, I will leave the information in the description box about Von Luce's 52-inch fan, and they do have other furnishings as well, um, so go ahead and make sure you check out the site. Anyway, I don't know where all these dishes came from, you guys, but I know that they're, you know what, yes, I am cleaning out the refrigerator because I am going grocery shopping, so when I go grocery shopping, I like to have a clean fridge and space to put my things in um, when I come back and I don't want to do it at the same time so I am I believe going grocery shopping the next night so I went ahead and grabbed all the leftovers anything that was in the fridge on the stove whatever I cook for dinner so that I can get it washed and put away
right y'all so i kind of consider myself a bleach connoisseur so i've had so many bleaches like i absolutely love bleach but i don't know this last couple bottles of bleach um i don't it stinks like it, it sits in your hands and it has this weird smell um i don't know what they're doing different i mean a lot of people don't like the smell of bleach anyway but it's a little bit different now let me know if you've noticed anything different as well fam so definitely because i put a ton of food in the garbage even though it has a lid i don't want that stuff sitting around and smelling um i'm just going to go ahead and change that out and since i am i'm grabbing the other stuff from the other side which again are more papers bottles boxes anything that is not actually physically food and i'm going to go ahead and put it in that first basket and get that thrown out and out of the kitchen Right, fam i'm gonna go ahead and get the laundry bag put back into the hamper i absolutely love this hamper i don't think i showed you guys i kind of just showed you the box but it has the removable cloth so it makes it so easy for us to lift it out and take it upstairs and it fits so well in the cubby and i really really like it <music> 